2020 so far has been a very, very good outcome for us anime fans, both for veteran anime fans and newcomers. On top of that, as subscription services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Crunchyroll, and Hulu have settled into our daily lives, anime has been made easier to access and changed how anime fans discover and share their favorite shows. Today, we're going to be talking about the best anime 2020 has to offer, at least so far. So make sure you stay till the end to find out which one's the best anime to watch so far this year. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on for more great content like today. Without further ado, let's begin with our countdown. In 8th place, we have Darwin's Game. Darwin's Game is based on artist Ginko and writer Yuki Takahata's manga of the same name. Released on January 3rd and animated by Nexus, Darwin's Game spins around Kaname Sudo, a 17-year-old teenager who accepts a mysterious invitation from a deceased friend and is sent into a supernatural deadly game kind of like the Hunger Games, known as Darwin's Game, as in Survival of the Fittest, Darwin. In case you were wondering, to make matters more fun, the game is filled with a parade of sociopaths and Kaname is unable to seek help from the outside world. Next up on number 7, we have Pet. Released on January 6th by Gino Studio and available on Amazon Prime. If you enjoy psychological anime, Pet should be your go-to option for this year. Pet is based on Ranjo Miyaki's manga of the same name and follows Tsukasa and Hitomi, two empaths that have the ability of manipulating the minds of other people. Talk about creepy right off the bat. It's like a bad trip on acid if you know what I mean, but you can't stop watching it. They are employed by a sinister organization known as The Company, and they are tasked with using their abilities to cover up crimes, assassinations, and several bloody acts by pretty much destroying the minds of the innocents around them. The dialogue of this anime can be a bit weird at times, and the first episodes are hard to swallow with so many plot points and puzzle pieces being juggled around by Takahiro Omori, the director. Wait a few episodes in, and you'll see how this story makes more sense the closer you pay attention. And the visuals are fantastic, reminding you of a psychedelic trip like I said earlier. <laughs> Teased for several months before it was officially released on January 9th, Somali in the Forest Spirit is the choice for fantasy and whimsical genre lovers. Somali's setting is a mysterious world full of magic, sorcery, goblins, spirits, golems, and the seemingly unique human child named Somali who's guarded by his cold yet still somehow caring golem protector. They embark on a search for a home for Somali among the last of the humans, who were supposedly prosecuted and hunted beyond extinction. The show's graphics are breathtaking, it's hilarious at times, and its main pull is its emotional story, showcasing topics such as parenthood and love found in unlikely situations. <laughs> だから in fifth place, we have Inspector. Inspector is a breath of fresh air in the supernatural mystery anime genre. It's produced by Brains Base and was released on January 11th. Based on Kyo Shiradeira's novel series, Inspector tells the story of 15-year-old Iwanaga Kotoko, a student who, four years before the series' first episode, was anointed as goddess of wisdom of the spirit world at the cost of her left leg and right eye. Kotoko must act as a medium between the human world and the spirit world, a sort of diplomat that must find compromises between the two worlds' disputes and discrepancies. However, things take a turn for drama when we find out that Kotoko has a boyfriend, Kurosaka Urogawa, who's also a fearsome entity with powers that strike fear in the spirits who Kotoko precisely has to protect. The mystery mixed with an odd couple rom-com makes for a unique anime experience, 
filled with plot twists, fun characters, and engaging plots that will force you to binge it until the end. The show is also available on Crunchyroll right now if you want to go watch it. <laughs> In fourth place, we have the ever-so-hyped Tower of God. Tower of God has been one of the most awaited series of 2020 so far, a collab between Crunchyroll and comic publisher Webtoon. It's an anime adaptation of an online manhwa by artist Seiyu. The series features Bam, an amnesiac young man who's teleported to the mysterious Tower of God. The Tower of God is a metaphysical structure that encompasses the entire world, designed to bestow immense powers upon those who can reach its heights. Bam must surround himself with allies in order to find his friend Rachel, overcoming the tower's deadly puzzles and enemies inside. Featuring a rich mythology, fantastic animation, and engaging characters, this shonen will leave you wanting more and more while you watch it. <laughs> God, I love Hayasaka. In third place, we have Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 2. Released on April 11th, Kaguya-sama presents us with Student Council President Miyuki Shiragane and Vice President Kaguya Shinomiya. Featuring Machiavellian plots and romance, stepping up from Season 1, Kaguya-sama has more in store for fans of the love-struck mishaps between Miyuki and Kaguya, and also presents us with more screen time for fan favorites Aya Hayasaka and Kei. The second season is also self-contained, so those who haven't watched the first season will be able to understand this one without any kind of problem. Kaguya-sama Love is War is available on Funimation, by the way, as well. Also, if you haven't seen the first season, then go watch it. Designed by furry lovers, for furry lovers. In second place, we have Beastars. Beastars is one of the breakout anime of the year. It's the story of Lugosi, a young wolf who falls in love with Haru, an emotionally detached and also promiscuous dwarf rabbit. In this world, animals are segregated depending on if they are carnivores or herbivores, and this anime makes sure to analyze their differences from a social standpoint to the T. Lugosi's primal instincts are awakened by his feelings for Haru, confusing him on if his instinct is to hunt and kill or something more emotional. Beastars is absurd, horny, terrifying, and all around unique. You definitely won't regret watching it. It's available on Netflix, by the way, too. Take that as you will, because not everything on Netflix is good. And finally, in first place, we have Keep Your Hands Off Aizouken. Keep Your Hands Off Aizouken is the story of Midori and her friends Sayaka and Tsubame, who want to establish an anime club on campus and produce their own animated film. This is a unique take on meta-anime, as it presents us with a realistic portrayal of the difficulties of breaking into animation, brimming with references and acknowledgement to anime's finest creator, and a sense of creativity that will have you roaring on your seat due to how fun it is. On top of that, the trippy title theme courtesy of Kelmiko and Orotaichi will leave you laughing like crazy from beginning to end. So what do you guys think of these fantastic anime to watch so far in 2020? Will you be watching any of these, or do you have any other recommendations? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. Also, if you're a fan of romance anime, then why not check out one of my latest videos on what I think the top 10 romance anime are. Just saying, no particular order, in case any of you get mad. With that being said, I've been Broken Obsessed in My Otaku Ways, and I will see all of you lovely people next time.